let's talk about Annihilation. So if you haven't heard of it, Annihilation is a sci-fi meets horror type movie and did not as well in the box office as it should have, quite honestly, in my humble opinion. It grossed about $43 million when it cost about um, 40 to 50 million to create. So Annihilation, in my opinion, is great for many reasons. It stresses me out, <laughs> but in the best way. There are a lot of themes in Annihilation that you might not pick up on first watch. So one of the main actresses who is played by Natalie Portman is a biologist and in the, one of the first thing, scenes that we see her in, she's teaching a class where she's talking about cellular regeneration and how cells split up and she's talking about cancer, basically. And that's a huge theme of the movie. The premise is that there's some kind of possibly alien thing that comes in and is starting to change the environment. It is something that they call the shimmer and everybody who's gone in has not come back including the actor who plays Natalie Portman's husband um, Oscar Isaac so he comes back a little off and then he's in critical condition and this powerful group of women decide to venture in and find out what's going on basically these five women from all from a variety of backgrounds with loads of knowledge go in to study the shimmer and find out why it's overtaking their environment what it's there for and it's very existential <laughs> and eventually you kind of find out maybe there is no rhyme or reason that it's just it's just changing things and i think that is a really cool takeaway i personally really enjoy when movies pose questions or problems as beautifully as Annihilation did and don't give you a direct answer. They don't tell you what's going on exactly. The production aesthetics of this movie are just stunning. I think that's one of the reasons I really love it. Also, it's just gorgeous. All of the shots are stunning. They're beautiful and they all seem really intentional. Down to a shot where in very early on where Natalie Portman's husband comes home and they're sitting at a table and you can see their hands through the glass and everything looks distorted and it all gives you a very eerie sense that something's wrong and once they go into the shimmer that's that's very much the case everything in the environment is changing the shimmer basically changes like the DNA and everything within the environment god it's just gorgeous there's so many parallels in the movie to other movies um I'm trying not to do any spoilers in this, so it's hard to describe, but specifically there are, there are two shots that are kind of parallel, um, that are almost identical shots that I really love, and I, I notice kind of upon the first time watching, and every time I watch it, I just love it a little bit more, and it's just a small detail. Like, when Natalie Portman's husband comes home, he is standing at the foot of the staircase looking up and there's a shot later on when she is in the shimmer and that shot almost exactly of her standing at the foot of a staircase and there's another kind of um shot that's a duplicate of him sitting at the table when he first gets home with a glass of water and another shot that is almost, almost exactly the same of her sitting at a table and you can see her through a doorway and she's studying her own blood. So I really think that the the overarching themes of the movie really shine through. And on top of things like cancer uh, for themes, another giant theme of the movie is self-destruction, especially when they all go in. You know, there are conversations between the characters that really shows the different ways that people self-destruct and even the shimmer, you know, kind of radiates that energy. Is that what I want to say? 
the same way that people self-destruct in different ways, the shimmer changed people in different ways. And so I think that that's really beautiful. And I think they did a really great job of showing that. I think it's, it's really interesting to see a variety of, of women characters represented that the way, the way that they are in Annihilation, because I feel like you don't really see that that often, you know? Except in movies that are like, rah, rah, we're feminist and it's all girl boss power, but these are like actually girl bosses who know their stuff. Another thing that I love about this movie being the sci-fi horror kind of movie that it is, is that you, you never really know what's going on. You think you're, you're learning what's going on, as the characters do, and you, you learn more about the situation, the shimmer, and all the themes they try to put through, but really in the end, nobody knows what's going on, and it's really hard to predict what's going to happen. Um, throughout the movie, at least that was my experience, and I'm typically pretty good at predicting movies. I've watched plenty of them, and so I find it really enjoyable when I could find a movie like Annihilation that doesn't tell you what's gonna happen, and everything feels right when it does. It's like, oh yeah, obviously this is where it was gonna end up, but I didn't know that it was gonna end up there in the first place. So I think that's a really, a really cool part of Annihilation also. I don't want to just praise the movie and seem like I think it's absolutely perfect because obviously every movie has its flaws. So yeah, go watch Annihilation. Hit subscribe, like, share, do all that good biz. Thanks for watching.